What's going on, my Minute Militia members? My name is Captain Spider, and I know it's kind of obvious if you couldn't already tell, but this is not a laptop I'm using. For the first time, I'm actually using a tablet. Uh, yeah. This is cool. I mean, a little wibbly wobbly. The uh, the way I have to hold this to get my face in. But I'm, I'm gonna just hold like this one. So I'm, I'm going vertical on the screen here, probably. I think. I don't know. Anyway, um,. So today, I'm going to be doing a review time because, honestly, when I realized I could do this, I'm like, okay, then I need to use this to post some videos on YouTube. Because I found that you can upload videos through the tablet, so I'm just going to be doing this. I'm going to be doing some review time, some random shit that I talk about segments, and some other good stuff like that until I get my laptop back. This time, though, I don't have an actual computer, so unless there's some way I can do some kind of gameplay... I'll have to, maybe I could talk to Blurry Turtle, because I know he did something through this. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Anyway, um, so today's review time is going to be about Vixen. Uh, Vixen, as if you do not know, is a new animated show that is on the CW. And despite its shortness, it really gave a lot off. Like, it, the, the idea of it, I really enjoy. I like the fact that they're kind of introducing this new character because I've never, and I literally mean never, heard of Vixen. I don't know if she's like a new superhero or maybe I'm just really stupid because I don't really read a lot of DC comics. I read more Marvel uh, growing up. But anyway, um, Vixen, and if you do not want to know about the show specifically, skip a little bit ahead. I will give a brief synopsis real quick about the show and I will be giving my opinion. And other things like that. So, without further ado, here's what happened in the episode. The episode's about 4 minutes and 19 seconds. Uh, so, it's a little short for a pilot. For me, I mean, I thought it was going to be a little bit longer. Like, it was going to be a whole full-length 23-minute show. I didn't realize it was going to be this short little cut. Like, maybe they're going to do it in the future where it's more of a show-like thing instead of just like a little short. I mean, if you put them all together, they're just one big episode. But um, what happens is, in the very beginning, at the very beginning of the scene, uh, you well, the very beginning scene is basically, uh, Mari, who is also known as Vixen, is running from the Flash and the Arrow, the CW versions of them, and you know they're trying to hunt her down, chase her down, or something like that. You've got the Flash is running towards her, trying to grab her, but she always dodges. Because she's using, because she's very quick or something like that. Uh, Stephen Amell's character, the uh, Green Arrow, is firing the arrows at her. She actually catches one of his arrows and breaks it. And many times they both get surprised because of how fast and how quickly and how strong she really is, which is really cool. And I also like the fact too that they brought in the actual voices. You didn't hear them, but if you watch the credits, you actually notice that uh, Stephen Amell and Grant Gustin actually came in for their characters. Uh, Cisco Ramon does as well. I don't know about anyone else who's going to be in the show, though, because I've only seen those three characters specifically. No other people from the show, from the actual uh, live-action shows are there. But um, after that, you know, it cuts to... Well, after that, uh, Stephen Amell fires... Oh, I'm sorry. The Green Owl fires the uh, arrow at her, like his net arrow. She goes, turns around, is kind of sliding on this building with her heels that are somehow made of metal or some shit and she's just sliding and she falls off the building and just as she's falling you get a flashback to three days ago she gets bailed out of prison um and it's by her stepfather and when she's getting all the stuff that she you know got when she before she was thrown in jail um she finds out that well she gets the necklace back some guy offers her money one of the guards for her necklace like 50 bucks because he didn't know if it was his wife or well, he forgot it's wife's birthday. And that's the other minor detail. So then, in the next scene, you see her and her, her and her, what is assumed to be her fa for, eh, foster father, who bailed her out of jail. Um, she explains in the next scene, too, why she gets thrown in jail. She uh, got a, she had a job interview for a uh, fashion design company, and she stabbed the guy with a pen in the hand because... He told her that if he, she wanted a job, maybe she could get him a job. No? Okay. Anyway, um, so she did that, just in jail, and, uh, you know, 
they bring up this other character, um, I forget her name, and I, I literally just watched this too, just to refresh my memory on the show, and basically what it is, is, like, they're talking about, like, I guess her foster mother or something, or, uh, something like that, but they're just talking about her and how she's not here, I'm kind of assuming she's, like, dead, or they got divorced, the foster father and the foster mother, I don't know, but, uh, anyway, next scene, it's the very last scene in the show, you see these three guys who are getting hustled, who are going to be, uh, not getting hustled, three guys who are trying to hustle uh, Mari, that's the name of the main character, right? Yeah, I understand that, right? Uh, as, to trying to hustle her for her necklace. Right before that, too, though, she's talking to her foster father, asking if she found what she was looking for in Michigan, which is her parents, which she did not find, no. Unfortunately not. So, um, and then when they're trying to hustle her, they, like, punch the foster father in the gut he's like down for the count then they're holding her down with the um gun point saying i probably not be able to ask you again so give me the fucking necklace i mean give me the necklace i need to make this more kid i need to make this a little more censored this second um but uh and then the show ends the episode ends at least now a few things that we find that uh, and if you are catching up this is where i'm going to be just talking about some minor things in the show we find out the show takes place in Detroit, which is a uh, motor city. Again, I don't know if that was actually a city in the comic books. Because, like I said, I haven't really done much DC stuff. I've been more of a Marvel fan my entire life. And basically what happens after that is... Well, not after that. I'm, I'm, I'm so screwing up. It's been so long since I've done one of these. Um, my apologies. But um, it takes place in Detroit... We know that the team, uh, Flash, because Cisco and Barry are in it. You see that in the trailer. You know that Green Arrow is there. Um, I don't know if we're going to be getting other cameos from other characters, possibly. other, Maybe even other DC heroes. Because anything's possible in the DC Universe, like, with a TV show. I mean, they brought in, they're bringing Hawkgirl for the Legends of Tomorrow. They got Hawkman coming in, too, if you didn't know that. But this isn't about that. This is about Vixen. But I like the idea of the character. I like how the necklace has all these powers of all these jungle animals or safari safari animals would be better. I like the idea and the concept of that. Like I like how different this is. This is a much different approach too on like a superhero show. Because most of the days nowadays people try to make live action stuff. However, unfortunately. Sometimes live action isn't as good, but for these shows, they're really good. So the fact that the CW is taking an animated route really kind of throws me off because I've been more used to the live action stuff. Because I watched uh, the Flash, I've seen some of the, I've seen some of Arrow. Arrow is okay. I kind of prefer the Flash though because it's more comedic, unlike Arrow, which is kind of more gritty and dark. But the idea though that they're animating this, and it's superb, like. It's short as hell, but it's really good. I really enjoyed it, personally. And, uh, I like the two, the character herself. Like, she's kind of this, like, like, kind of like this female character who can kind of stand her own. Even against two people like the Green Arrow and the Flash. Like, the fact that she can stand up to them, and the fact that she's kind of just being all badass and stuff. And just the, like I said, the powers too, I really enjoyed. I kind of don't have, it, it's a little hard to do a uh, review time for this, specifically because it's, it's such a short episode. So you're going to have to check out tomorrow for the next episode, because I'm going to be doing a review time on that. And every week, probably, I'm going to be doing a review time on this show. You, It may not be on this channel, because I may actually be getting a new channel specifically for stuff like that, and other vlog type things and stuff like that. So that way my main hub channel can be, well not main hub channel, my main channel can be just specifically gaming, podcasts, stuff like that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this review time. If you guys want to watch Vixen, download the CWC app. It's free on the Android Marketplace, or the Android, the Play Store, whatever it's called. And I believe it's also on the App Store as well, on the, I, on the uh, Apple Store thing, App Store. So you can get it for free there. Uh, check out some other great shows on there. I'm going to be watching a few of those, actually. Probably myself. I might be watching, like, the Sarah Connor 
trilogy, the uh, Osiris Chron Chronicles, the uh, the original Flash in the 1990s, and other stuff like that, because there's a lot of good shows on there, and I really want to check them out. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want me to do another show where you have me, if you want me to start like binge watching something else, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of Vixen in general, and let me know if I screwed up anything or if there's more to Vixen that meets the eye. Let me know all that down below. Leave a like, subscribe, and trust me, I will be getting my laptop soon. I'm going to be calling up the company, hopefully tomorrow, seeing how things are going. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoy, and as always. See you guys next time on another review time. Bye bye! Ah, bye.